and welcome to the Kyosho Inferno ST 3.0 or should I say welcome back after a very long time and I know a lot of you have been asking to see some more videos with this absolute beast but we've just been so busy with the RC Empire website which is coming out in a couple of months and that is going to be huge and it will benefit every single person in the hobby industry so do watch out for it and sign up at www.rcempire.co.uk and as well as all of that there's been the whole Covid thing so we've not really been able to get out and have a good proper session but here we are back with this fantastic stadium truck from Kyosho. And I've really missed thrashing this thing around because it's one of my favorite trucks, just because of its versatility. Now, just before lockdown, we actually stripped a servo horn. And what's weird is that that is the second one we stripped on the steering servo. And I've never actually had a servo horn strip in my life, so for it to happen twice is odd. And actually, I think in this case, there must be a tiny, tiny defect or something wrong with the splined shaft of the servo, the teeth, that could be leading to stripped servos. Because the throttle servo is exactly the same as the steering one, and that's okay. And so are both the steering and throttle servo on the new Inferno buggy we've got which again are the same, so it must be something weird with this one. But to be honest, it's not a big deal at all, so let's quickly change it. Now as you can see, the first one we swapped was a plastic one, and what you need to look out for when buying servo horns is the number of teeth on the horn. So typically, Kyosho, Futaba, Savok servos all use the 25 tooth servo horns, and that's exactly what these Kyosho servos use here. But that plastic one we put on stripped again after a jump, so now, here comes the metal. We have picked up a couple of metal servo horns, and these really aren't that expensive. So let's take the old one off, and you can actually see that the inside of that is shredded up where the teeth have stripped. And here we have our assortment of new metal servo horns. Now each one of these, if you haven't seen them before, can be used for different applications. So you can get ones with slightly different offsets or different fittings. And what these metal ones have are a little grub screw that lets you tighten them onto the splined shafts. So if we go for the first one, It's actually got this little lip here, and I know I've got the ball in upside down, but this lip isn't big enough to let the nut sit flush onto the servo horn, and offsets the nut from the thread of the ball connector too much. And what we really want in this case is a nice flat servo horn like this one. And once you've got the servo horn you need, just choose the hole you want to use and you can cross reference it with the original servo horn that you took off and the hole you used last time. And then just put your screw in or your connector into the hole and screw it all up. Next, simply drop the servo horn onto the servo and make sure that you turn the power on, turn the transmitter on, and the steering trims on the transmitter are set to zero. So the servo is centered before putting on the servo horn and linking up all the steering linkages to it. If you don't check this, you may get something like this, where after you turn the transmitter on, you realize it's not centered and center on the servo is actually full lock on the wheels. But luckily the servos on this are nice and accessible and you can whip that off and put it back on where the wheels are dead straight when the steering trim on the transmitter is set to zero. But that's pretty much it, nothing too technical and to be honest pretty basic but there is our brand new servo horn ready to rock on the Kyosho Inferno 
ST 3.0, which means in the next episode we'll be back with some serious autumn bashing. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this mini fix video and seeing our stock inferno out on the table again. Please do subscribe to the coming RC Empire website, which will have all your hobby resources at www.rcempire.co.uk. And keep an eye out for the coming videos because we have some great ones on the way, including a look at the insane 12th scale re-release Kyosho Phantom, which is an amazing bit of kit and we are building up a very nice spec for that. But that's it. Thank you for watching and see you soon.